Hey guys, I'm here today with a bit of a different video than normal. As you may have seen in some of our past videos... GPS is sinking now. Pass. Oh, you're going too fast. Save button to crank. No. <laughs> I am a bit of a techie. I have all sorts of projects going on, and since I love seeing all the amazing things that people make online, I thought I'd share a bit of what I've been up to with you guys. I'll try to keep these about as basic as possible because watching long videos about people droning on about voltages and whatnot is just kind of boring in my opinion. Anyways, about a year and a half ago, my love for lights drove me to make a clock of my own. Here is the original clock that I made. As you can see, it just tells the time and the date. It doesn't really do nothing else. You can set the time, change the format, and also change the color of it. Let's make it a nice magenta right now. It also can get pretty darn bright. Yeah, cool. And so right here is the back of said clock. It's just got like a plus and a minus button and then a menu button. And then inside are the super janky, almost two years ago, Cullen Electronics. <laughs> like I kind of knew what I was doing, but I also didn't know what I was doing. All the pin headers were just cut from a wire. It's got like a 12 volt to 5 volt converter there. Yeah, it's it's not my best work, <laughs> but it works. It's been working for a year now, so that's pretty cool. Upon mentioning this clock to a friend of mine, he became really interested in wanting a clock of his own for his live event productions. That got me thinking, and about a year later, in October, I decided to try and take on that challenge. The first thing that I decided to make for this clock were the displays. He wanted them to be big, so I couldn't really find like any pre-made display, so I decided to make one myself. The first iteration of the displays worked, and it looked pretty cool, but unfortunately it burnt out really quick because I did not know what I was doing. <laughs> Upon realizing my ignorance to the way that electricity works, I decided to sit down and learn a lot and came up with this. It was a second version of the display. It worked a little bit better, but it kept burning out too. This time I think it was because I was damaging the bulbs when I was soldering them and I needed a different way of attaching them to the board. That's why I opted for like a removable kind of system where you could like put in the LEDs and take them out and that way they wouldn't get damaged by the heat. I built a prototype for that new design and tested it overnight and it still seemed to work in the morning. So I had decided to go with that and made two more displays because this clock needed to display hours, minutes, and seconds. All this designing and building of the displays took about a month. And so, since I wanted to give this clock as a Christmas present to my friend, I had a few weeks before our vacation to make everything else. So the board is all hooked up with the three displays. And I've written some quick test code, so let's see what happens. Uploading. And nothing. All right, with some code changes, it works. One of the things that my friend wanted this clock to do was automatically sync itself with the correct time when you turn it on. My first thought when posed with this was GPS. It turns out that if you have a GPS signal, you can figure out what time it is. So using that GPS signal, I would sync it with the timekeeping module in the clock so that the clock could know what time it was without constantly resyncing with the GPS. It took me a couple of days to figure out how to get all these modules to talk to each other. And I figured that I could just do all the programming once I got all the electronics finished. So the next thing I did was I set about in Blender to actually design the body of the clock. Mm -hmm. 
I decided to 3D print the entire case in three parts because it was just too big to print all at once on my tiny little printer. Speaking of printing, it took about four days and nights to print the case. And those were the last four days that we were here before we went on vacation. <laughs> I was really cutting it close with this project. It wouldn't have actually taken four days to print, but one of the prints failed overnight because for whatever reason our power went out. Thankfully, I had enough filament and there were no more power outages, so I was able to finish the night before we left for vacation. Which, by the way, we have a video on that. You should check it out. Programming took a few nights to complete, but after that, the clock was finished. So here it is, the finished clock. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Plug it in, goes through a little sequence of getting sync with the GPS. So you could cancel that by pressing any of these four buttons. So it just locked in the time. Right now it says it's 629 and my watch says it's 629. So, this first menu option, when we press the forward button, it goes into the menu. We've got set time. If you press forward, you can set the hours, the minutes, even the seconds. You can set what year it is, the month, and the day. But I'm gonna go back because it already knows what time it is. You've got time zone, which it's set to Pacific time because that's where I am right now. But you can set it to go down to negative 11 or positive 12. Uh, you've also got enable daylight savings time, which it's turned on right now. I don't know if that will work. Uh, we've also got 24 hour mode, so if you turn that on, then it displays time in military time or 24 hour time. All of these settings, it will remember them even after it's been unplugged. So for example, if I unplug it right now and then plug it back in, uh, see it kept the 24 hour time setting, uh, but let's just turn that off so it'll be 12 hour time. And then our last setting is sync GPS, so it'll just resync the time with what the current time is. Well guys, thanks for watching my video on the clock that I made for my friend. If you want me to get into a little bit more detail about any of the things you've seen, I'm happy to. I just didn't want to bore you with any of the details. I've still got some other projects that I'm working on, including this big thing that I'll make a video on soon. And until next time, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking our videos. And I'll see you next week. See ya.